Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show how I sell Shady Picture in Manga Studio slash Clip Studio Paint. If you don't know what cell shading is, it's basically just shading a picture with blocks of color instead of soft gradients. Cell shading can be a nice technique for beginners, since it's not too complicated. Also, my screen recorder alters the colors for some reason, so here's what my colors actually look like. So let's get started! First, I'm going to make a new layer folder under my line art folder and name it color. And then I'm going to make a new layer in that folder. Now let's talk about the colors. For each part of the picture, I use two to four colors. The first color is what I'll use for the highlight. The second color is my base tone. And the third and fourth colors are for the shadows. So now I'm going to select my skin tone and then I'm going to use the magic wand tool to select areas that I want to fill in. Next, I press the Expand Selection button and increase my selection size by about 2 pixels. Um, 1 to 3 pink pixels should be fine. If I don't do this, then there will be little white pixels along the edges of the line art. And we don't want those. <laughs> now I make a new layer and do the same thing I did for the skin, but this time I select areas in the hair that I want to color. I keep making new layers and filling in the base tones until the whole picture is colored. Now I'm going to make a new layer above my skin layer and right click the thumbnail on that new layer. Then I choose clip that layer below. This will clip the layer to the skin layer. This makes it so I can't color outside of the skin base tone layer. Which is really handy. <laughs> the light is coming from the upper left and shadows like to be opposite of the light. So the shadows will appear on the right since the light source is on the left. Now I choose my third color. I make sure that it's darker than my skin tone base layer and start shading the face with it. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to shade faces. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'm going to make a second layer that is clipped to the base skin tone layer. I'm going to have it above that first clipped layer we made. And then I'm going to make a slight gradient. I'm going to use my highlight color on the left and my shadow color on the right. Uh, this part is totally optional. I like to add a gradient because it makes the cell shading a little softer and not so harsh. Uh, but you can do whatever you like. I go in kind of dark with the colors so that I'm able to see where I'm applying them and then I lower the opacity of the layers to soften the colors up a bit. Now I make a new layer above the vest layer and then clip that new layer to the vest layer. I repeat the same steps for the tie. I also add a slight gradient to the vest. I always make the gradient darken on the side that is opposite to the light source and lighten on the side with the light source. <laughs> I make a layer above the hair base tone layer and clip it to that layer. I first go in with the third color and add details to the hair. I 
I select the part of the hair that is behind her and completely fill it in with the third color. When adding shadows to the hair, I mostly try to follow the line art. I add more shadows to the right side of the hair than the left side because the light source is coming from the left. I use the fourth color to add details to the back part of the hair. I now go in with the highlight color. I add the highlight color mostly on the left side of the hair since the light source is on the left. Now I add a band of the highlight color around the head for the highlight. This helps make the hair look shinier. I'm also adding a subtle gradient to the hair. I always make a new layer for the gradients just in case I don't like how they look and so that I don't ruin the cell shading I already did. <laughs> now I'm going to make a layer above the shirt layer and clip it to it. I use a light blue for shading the shirt. Now let's start working on my favorite part, the eyes. The eyes are so much fun to color. I'm going to use a thing called a symmetrical ruler. What the ruler does is whatever I draw on one side, it'll do on the other side. You can find the symmetrical ruler by pressing U on the keyboard and clicking on the ruler tab. Um, and also you want to make sure that the snap to special ruler button is selected or else the ruler won't work. So you want to make sure that's selected. First I go in with my darkest color. I draw a circle for the pupil and add shading towards the top of the iris. Then I go in with my third color and add some more shading. Now I'm going to use my lightest color and add a whole bunch of dots in the lower part of the iris. I use white to add a circle highlight to the iris and make the highlight on the same side as the light source. I now add a slight gradient to the iris. I make it darker at the top and lighter towards the bottom. I thought the pupils needed more definition, so I added a black oval in the middle and then lowered the opacity to get a dark green. Next, I make a new layer above the skin layers and add the white part of the eyes. I then use a light blue color to shade the white part of the eye. When I add the blue shadow to the white part of the eye, I try to make it line up with the shadow I drew earlier in the iris. I now make a new layer above the color folder and clip it to the color folder. I make a gradient that goes from yellow to purple. This is totally optional, I just like the effect it gives. And now the picture is all done! Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!